Hi, everybody. I'm here um, to present you just a little, you know, overall review on turning in work. I know that some parents have messaged me stating that they've turned in, you know, the students' work. However, on my end, it does not come up as um, turned in. So, so, I mean, and some of you all have turned in your work, you know, successfully. This is something that I want to show you. I logged in as a student. So this is a view that you should see if I'm correct, right? So I'll click here. Okay, so remember to use the stream um, here that I have, where this is where I post my messages or important information. I'm starting to gear here and post information opposed to posting information as I would on Parent Square, okay? I will be sending about maybe one to two messages on Parent Square or posts, but that's it. Now, what you're gonna do is go to classwork. So, for example, let's see. Let's go back to the first one. So, it says completed here because, you know, week one is over and I did have a due date on it. Um, however, from this point on, I won't have a due date. So, there's no due date here. It says no due date, okay? So, uh, last week was current, so I need to change that, okay? Now, here we have week one you are going to go back and click on all the tabs to make sure that you don't have this here where it says missing okay so for example you would click there click the tab then click the slide you will want to do the work well not you but your child but at the same time, I understand that it is difficult at times for them to um, click and drag. So as long as they're sitting with you, you can do that for them as long as they're telling you the answers and not you telling them the answers. Or I can also give a one on one tutorial with you um, trying to get trying to help you maneuver the mouse and whatnot. It's also easier for students at this age to use a mouse as far as like, um, like a wireless mouse or a actual mouse you can plug into your Chromebook, okay? So once you're finished there, you're just going to exit out here. And now I still have missing, so I only did that one. I'm gonna go here. Okay, so let's just say that one's done. I'm gonna exit here, go back to day two. So hover, I know you can't click and drag like this. You wanna hover over until you see that little four-way cross or four-way arrows, right? Click it, uh, drag it over, ham. Oops, undo. If you ever make a mistake on a slide, just go back and click the undo, okay? Now, let's see if we can play the video because I know some said they couldn't. So, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like it overlapped there. Oh, there we go. So, sometimes you just have to kind of move this and you shouldn't have to do this i do apologize however this was week one so i'm hoping that i won't make that mistake again for you all but this is how you would do it i just kind of moved it around a little bit as you saw left click drag move around so i'm going to stop it there okay oh no try to move it back this way i'm left clicking holding it down, left click, hold down, let it go, okay? Now what I'm going to do, I'm finished here, I'm going to click my X again, still says missing, so let's see what else we have here. Okay, net, build my word, N-E-T, net, okay? So it still says missing. Do I have any other ones here? Okay, now let's view assignment. So let's 
So now what I'm going to do is turn in. You can add a private comment if you'd like here, and it only goes directly to me. And then whatever my response is, will go back to you as well. So these are the four. This is the made up student name here, and these here, okay? Don't turn in if you only did one. You have to complete all of them. Let me go back and, and reiterate that. You cannot just say, oh, I'm done with slide one. Let me turn it in. Because if you just do slide one and you don't, and you turn it in, so if, if you do slide one and then turn it in, I, on my end of the side, I get to see all of these turned in. So you only did one, and I see the three blank. So you won't get credit for that. I'll just return the assignment. So you're not supposed to turn in until all the assignments are done. So turn in, yes, turn in. Turned in late, but that's totally fine. I don't care at this point if it's late or not, because again, I'm not having any, um, you know, late grades or anything like that. Like you do, you know, your child can do their work as, as they, you know, as they have time, as you have time to sit with them. Now it just says turned in. Now when it's graded, let me go back. When it's graded, um, maybe I can come here. So go back to classwork, right? So see, when I, it says turned in late, it's not missing anymore. However, when I grade it, you'll get a green little word here that says graded, okay? So that's how we turn in our work. So I know there was a lot more tabs. It was a bit overwhelming in the beginning for everybody. So here you can just, I'm asking you to go back and click all the tabs and just have your child work through them. I know week one was not, um, I guess, looked at his grades, uh, or I guess it wasn't looked like, looked at, um, What's the correct word I can find? Just, it wasn't looked at, I guess, where a lot of people maybe didn't take it as serious or just, you know, but after that, week two, I saw more, you know, assignments getting turned in. And then week three, I'm hoping that all the assignments will be turned in as well. Again, there is no due date, so do them as you can, as you please. But um, if you did not do week one, can you go back, please, and have your child just do this for extra practice? Because in order for us to understand what's going on here, or in order for your child to understand what's going on here on week three, they had to have gone through week two and week one, especially this week right here. It was a lot of work here, so that would really help. Um, so I'm asking that of you. So that is it. Thank you. And again, private message me or message me through Parent Square or comment uh, below if you need anything else from me. Thank you.